So you may have found that from June 30, 2022, Google has disabled their less secure apps feature, stopping a lot of systems from sending emails. To re-enable emails on your phone system, log into your Gmail account. Once you've logged in, you'll see an icon on the top right hand corner with nine dots. Click on that and then click on account. On the left hand side, click on security. Before you go any further, just go grab your mobile phone so you can activate 2FA. Two factor authentication needs to be activated on the account in order to use the feature we need for the phone system. You also do need to hit the like button, otherwise it just won't work. So scroll down until you see two step verification and click on it. Follow the steps to activate it with your mobile phone. Enter your mobile number and I'll leave it set to send me a text message. So I'm waiting for the text message to come through. Okay, now you got to confirm that you do want it turned on. Okay, now that's turned on. You can scroll down and activate another method of two-step verification if you need to. Otherwise, hit the left arrow up above next to two-step verification. Scroll down. Now you should be able to see app passwords. Under the Select App drop-down, select Other. Enter a name for your app, and then hit Generate. It will then pop up with a randomly generated password. This password can only be used by one device, and this is the only time you'll see it. Once you hit Done, you will never be able to see the password again, so make sure you copy it somewhere, or enter it directly into the PBX right now. So as you can see, the only option you have is to delete the app. We'll head over to the phone system in the SMTP settings. That password that we just saved, we enter it in the password field. We leave the email as it is. You will also need to make sure the port is set to 587 and TLS is ticked. Once that eventually saves, we'll go up the top to the hammer and we'll send a test email. So under utility, email notification, test email. Once that's done, go to report, then email report. So now you should have an email with a sent status rather than a sending or failed. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you appreciated the video, don't forget to like, subscribe or share or send me a thanks. Take care.